Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video on follow up to this series that I did here back in December. So getting on for six months ago now. This was the quadcopter that I built in that latest quadcopter building for beginner series. This is a Speedy B frame. Um, then we have the Speedy B flight stack. I put walk snail in it. It then was updated to iNav. I did it just as a build for those of you that are relatively new to this. I hadn't done one for about a year, but it's become a quad that I really, really like. So much so that I'm finding it's going in the bag along with a little GPS at the back for all the iNav goodness uh, for me to fly on a regular basis. Now, I've had a couple of people get in touch over the last three or four weeks asking if you were building it now, because six months has passed, would you use exactly the same components? And the answer is almost. So I thought it'd be useful to give a quick update on if I was building this now and doing a brand new quadcopter building for beginners series, what would I actually build? Because to be honest, this is pretty good as it stands. So it's probably worth quickly mentioning that there are a lot of bind and fly models that don't break the bank. Probably one of the most fun ones that I had in here recently was this thing here, a Darwin FPV Fold 84 has foldable arms, it'll fit in your pocket and it won't break the bank. It's only less than hundred pounds at this point. Or if you don't want to do a load of soldering, but you have your own air units or O3 DJI unit that you want to put in something, don't forget things like this exist as well. I also had a look at this on the channel recently, the Cinebot 25, shipped with everything in it, ready to go, receiver, flight controller, ESC, everything's all wired up. The only thing that isn't is an O3 air unit. You supply and put that in yourself. But if you were going to build something and you want to follow along with the series, what would I use now? Well, I would use exactly the same flight controller. This is the SpeedyB F405 V4 stack. It went in the model incredibly easily and it works brilliantly. Other big advantage to this is that it will talk wirelessly to the SpeedyB application. So you don't have to have a PC to mess around with it. You can actually connect wirelessly using your phone or tablet at the field and tweak things, which is great if you want to change something. I potentially now would go with this frame over the one that I used in the original series. This is the Speedy B Mario 5 available in both a dead cat and a classic X configuration. I got the dead cat one in here when I had a look at it. This is a great frame, a little bit more compact than the one I built out, but only just everything will still fit in here. There's loads of room and it's only 35 pounds, which is a nice touch. So we've talked about the frame, we've talked about the flight controller stack. What about the motors? Well, for me, I'm still a big fan of the T-Motor. I like them, they're a premium motor. I'm running F40s on mine, I think they're 2400 kV. This is more a motor that would be suited to a 6S setup rather than a 4S setup if you wanted something that with a bit more power. Again, four of these are going to, it's gonna be a thick end of 100 pounds, that's quite expensive. However, if I was building this on a budget, I'd go for something like this. I've had a number of iFlight things in recently for review and I've been impressed at the quality. And these for £51.91p give you a full set of motors and then you just need your props, a receiver, a battery and away you go. So I will put links to all that stuff down below. Again, Building a quadcopter is one of those things that can be an awful lot of fun. And once you've built one and understand how it all goes together, repairing them becomes a lot easier too. SpeedyB in particular have made it so they don't have to spend a fortune in order to get really high quality components that work extremely well. And hopefully with the more modern picks, you could go back and watch that quadcopter building for beginner series from December and make something even more modern. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.